Hey, good morning. The boys from Custom Precast from Cascade, Iowa, started rolling in here about 6.15 this morning. They're getting set up, starting at that end, and they're gonna start putting slats on this building. These guys get it done. They're a class act. I mean, that's all they do, and they do a damn good job. I feel like we're in good hands, and we're gonna probably set up some time lapse, let you see how they get it done. probably hear my microphone. I have a damn thing for my microphone that's supposed to block the wind, but it doesn't do a very good job of doing that. The company that's laying the slats for us is Custom Precast. They do a really nice job. They've done all four of our hog barns in the past, and they're doing our Ford. A great people, great work ethic. They get their stuff done on time. You no, know, we work with mostly great people. Dirt work guys that we work with are great. Dennis, the concrete guru is great. Guys that lay our slats for us are great. Do your stuff right, we'll work with you. But we won't work with you if you're a dick. So just don't be a dick. There's 480 total slats that they're gonna lay for this whole 2400 building. 240 slats per 1200 room. So that's a lot of slats, that's a lot of weight, and that's a lot of They just got this one 1200 side done, so they're gonna be moving over to this other side and get that room done. So right now we're under the slats that have been laid on this uh, north 1200 room. Dad and I were talking, and I hope this is the last time that we're ever in here when we get pigs, because you don't want to be down here when you get pigs, because it's gonna be full of manure. This will be the one and only time I'll ever be down here, hopefully. So here we are. This is as good as it gets. This is hopefully the only time I'll be in this pit because once we put pigs in here you're never going to want to be down here again but we got a little time so millennial farmer if you want to bring your go-kart you got a pretty nice track down here just try to stay out of the columns i don't care if you nick the wall but don't don't hit the columns the dimensions of this building is basically 100 by 200 and this is eight foot deep if you filled this clear full it would hold just shy of a million gallons now then, chances are it'll never be that full because we haul our manure every fall. Part of the reason that this pit is the size that it is is for the fact that it gives you some leeway. So say it was a really wet fall and you couldn't get manure hauled, we could go all the way to the following spring if we had to. We still wouldn't be clear full. So that's part of the reason why it's like this. Chances are it will only be about, about right there. That's about where it'll be in an average year. We get about between two thirds and three quarters of the pit full from one year to the next. It took them well over half the day to finish this 1200 side of this building. They're gonna be moving over to the other side uh, either today or they might call it quits today and come back tomorrow. I'm not sure but Definitely in the next two days. They'll have all the slats laid and then Dennis the concrete guy is gonna finish pouring the center wall up Above the slats carpenters should be coming. What do you think dad this week or next week? Building drops next week, so carpenters will start right after so hopefully we've got a building up uh, I don't know, I would think like the 13th. The 13th of October. October. I just came out of the underworld. You belong in the underworld. You look more like a gremlin than I do. 
Hey, how's it going? Up along the roadway going to the new building, there is a bunch of old cruddy fence between us and our neighbor. After they're done backfilling, they're gonna come down and they're gonna smooth that side of the lane off. But before they do that, we gotta get all that fence out of there so they're not dragging along. So grapple bucket will be perfect for that. However, I've been putting this off and it's been getting progressively worse. But as you can see, my weather strip, my weather strip has seen better days. My first thought was, you know, I'll just go to John Deere and get a new weather strip and take this one off and put that one, put a new one on. Till you price a weather strip for a John Deere skid loader and then you say, okay, well, I think we're gonna try to fix this. So I got me a $10 tube of super, super being the key word, weather strip gasket adhesive so i'm gonna clean the windshield try to get as much of the crap out of it and then goop that up let it set while i go do a few other things and hopefully it'll last long enough that i don't feel so bad when i have to actually bite the bullet and get a new weather strip so well i've got that about as clean as i can get it you want to have everything as dry as possible and i like these instructions it says to apply a uniform coat of adhesive to each surface, but do not close the bond. Allow the adhesive to dry until it's tacky. And that's good because if there's one thing I know, it's how to be tacky. So now the moment of truth gonna put this sucker on there and see if it sticks. I think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna clamp on a pair of vice grips just to make sure. Oh yeah. I think it'll stay on there. And maybe by the next time it gets torn off, I'll just have to bite the bullet and buy another one. But anyway, I'm gonna fuel this rig up and then we're gonna go up to the building site and see what kind of destruction we can cause. I'm going to come up here and give you guys an update on how everything's going at the building site. Just a little quick one because we're, we're kind of short on time. Got to get in the fields and unload some wagons. As you guys can see, they finished laying slats today. So both rooms are done. This whole 2400 building is finished as far as the slat laying. So the slat guys are gone. The concrete guys are back. And right here is a fresh layer of grout. And there was a gap right here that was, there was nothing in it. There was no concrete or nothing. And that gap was used to just in case they got off on a slat, they could have some room to maneuver it and make it true. So once they get all the slats laid, they just gotta come in and grout that. And that's what they did on both sides. So now what they're going ahead and doing is they're getting this four foot center wall ready to go for concrete. So they're gonna fill it full of grout, set the forms, and they're going to probably come here tomorrow and go ahead and start pouring that four feet wall and let it dry and all that stuff. made it up here finally. I got my door. My goo has stuck. Not perfect, but it's stuck. I had a bike to eat. Got a little warm, so I had to change shirts. When we get the building backfilled, our dirt contractor is probably going to come down through here and he's going to smooth this out. He's going to take some of this dirt that way so that in the winter time, when we get snow, the snow is going to come across. Hopefully not uh, drift right over this over this high spot and this is pretty easy fix here you get a little further down there and it gets a little higher but before we can do any of that we need to get this old fence out and I think that I should be able to just use the grapple bucket and just kind of drag it out of there we'll put it in a pile digging that fence out because where it's low on the other side we don't have to worry about the snow blowing across so 
we may just leave that but we got this fabulous pile we'll probably run the dozer over that and smash it down and then i think i can just pick it up and put it in the dumpster that would be the best